when white people, unfortunately, when they experience problems, what they do, they run away. When they're in their happy neighborhood where they're raising their kids and then maybe a minority element is starting to come in, what do they do? They pack up and leave. They run away. When their kids are being taught these homosexual ideas, sex ed when they're eight years old, what do the white parents do? Pull them out of the schools, pay tens of thousands of dollars for private school, or they home school them. They run away. When they're at their job and they realize they can't uh, vote, um, vocalize their support for conservatives or Trump, what do they do? Zip their mouth. Okay. You can run now, but soon you're not going to have anywhere to run to. At some point, you have to make a stand. Now, in a globalized fight, I wouldn't make a stand there when you have so many enemies that are hitting you and you can't even see them. But in a local fight, like what the Muslims did, you got a good chance. All you got to do is say no. All you got to do is text your parents, text the parents of your kids, friends, text them. Say, let's do something about this. That's all you got to do. But they're so scared. Everyone's like, the white people, we got to save them. Who is going to save them? They can't save themselves. They're too weak. The propaganda has gotten them. Where is this strength you, you, you think you're going to see from them? The ones who are strong are, are scared that if they put their neck out, it will get chopped off, and it will, because now the numbers of the ones who are red-pilled, who can fight, is too small. So everyone has this hope. A lot of people have this hope. America will fight against this. Where is this fight going to come from? Show me. Generation Z? Are you kidding? Making a meme and organizing locally are two different things. Now, I know some of you who are white don't like what I'm saying right now. Because you think, no, we're going to rise back. We're going to harness our the ancestor, uh, the strong white genes we have, Vikings and so on. Yeah, that was in the past. That's over. What do you have? Where is this? I mean, is this, if you're scared of being called a word, if you're scared of being called a racist, you're not going to fight for anything. You're just going to run away. But guess what? Soon there's going to be nowhere to run to. And then you will be annihilated completely. And don't worry. The Muslims you see, give them a generation. They'll be dominated too. Their kids are going to be fully aboard the globo homo talking points, beliefs. It's the parents because the parents haven't been here for a long, a, a long time. They actually get the idea that they can fight. But their but their kids raised in those types of schools, they're gonna get older too. They're gonna maybe have kids, they're gonna have less kids than their parents, and they're not gonna get this strength anymore. We have reached the stage where it is every man for himself. These, no these notions of things are going to change, things are going to improve, is delusional. You're not going to change the world. Change yourself. Change your family, your friends. And that's the best that you can do.